Okay, so you're here for some more atomic structure practice, huh? So <clears throat> I'm going to do the next five in your packet. So we've already done five together. So I'm assuming that you already have those five written down. So I'm going to start with the one, number six, the one that has neon. So I'm given neon. I'm given the mass is 21. So I'm going to find neon on my periodic table and it has the atomic number of 10. That means that it also has the number of protons of 10. Now, I can find the number of neutrons and I do that by taking 21 minus 10 is 11 because the number of protons plus neutrons is the mass. Okay. Number of electrons is always equal to the number of protons, so it's also 10. Okay, next one. Atomic number is 2, mass number is 5. If I have the atomic number, I can get the element. Atomic number 2 is helium. Oopsie. Helium. Uh, number of protons is the same as the atomic number. That is 2. Number of neutrons. If I have the mass and the atomic number, I can get the neutrons. I just subtract. 5 minus 2 is 3. Electrons is always equal to protons. Okay. Next one. I have mercury. And I know this guy, this mercury that I have, has 121 neutrons. So the atomic number of mercury, he's kind of hard to find, is 80. Number of protons is 80. Mass number. Definition of mass number is protons plus neutrons. So I add those dudes up. Mass is 201. Electrons is always equals to protons, so that is 80. I have a mass of 189 and I have a proton of 79. So if I know 79 protons, I look at number 79 on the periodic table and I find out that, that is gold. So the atomic number is 79, the number of electrons is 79. To get the neutrons, I'm going to subtract. 189 mass is sev minus 79 is 110 neutrons. Okay, this is the last one I'll do with you. If you want more help after this, just see me in person. Um, I have 61 neutrons and 47 protons. So number 47 on the periodic table is silver. So my atomic number is 47. My mass number, so that's protons plus neutrons, is 108. And my electrons are the same as my protons. So 47. I hope you're really getting the hang of this. Um, again, keep working on your paper. Um, there's two full pages of this. You don't have to do all full pages. You have to do this until you can do this without looking at the formulas. Okay, That's what you have to do on your quiz. So see me for help if you need it.